It's always been um, a, a significant part of music making in the community. The community has made music for a long time. I remember as a high school student, we did collaborative things with the men's chorus, and then when some of us got old enough, we were fortunate enough to be able to sing in the chorus. I've been in the group for nearly 35 years. There are gentlemen in the choir of all walks of life. They're from the area, not necessarily in Staples. For the men's chorus, we want to bring art to the community on somewhat of a regular basis, and we want to adjust our formats so that we can reach a variety of audiences. Uh, over the years, lots of collaborations with the high school, with local high schools, also with our uh, more closer to home groups like the Staples Area Women's Chorus and the Boys Choir and the Girls Choir. A typical year is f kind of four major concerts and then uh, a number of other sort of ancillary events that are maybe more service oriented or a little bit less like a sit down concert. These guys are passionate about, about getting other guys singing. They're, they're just this great, generous spirit of, of a bunch of guys that you know love getting together and they love singing. They've really become a community and because of that, they've been a whole force in central Minnesota. There's a brotherhood, there's a togetherness, there's a commonality that's, that's very unique and gives people an opportunity to come together and make something cool, make something great. And we have a lot of fun together. The hope is they see us having fun and for me it's like, you know, I'd like them to feel like they can join too. Like, feels good, it's, it's a pride thing and it's just, it's just a gift to share. We all take it really seriously. I mean, we have fun at rehearsal, but we want to be prepared to deliver something our audience is alike. But the chorus's success has always been rooted in the people. The people doing it, the people who come to watch it. 